Peace, people. Welcome to the latest episode of Rough Draft. I am your host, Ken Robert Osavio. And in this episode, I'll be talking about lyrical content, lyrical breakdown, part two. Thank you for doing this. This latest episode of the Rough Draft. We are now in the month of November. So now that we're in the month of November, we are celebrating NaNoWriMo, or National Novel Writing Month. So for established authors or aspiring authors, uh, it, you usually take the entire month of November to uh, write, write at least the first draft of an entire novel. So it's, uh, what, all 30 days of the month? Um, I have never personally participated in NaNoWriMo. I just don't like being in that type of condensed environment. But for those of you who do want to participate in NaNoWriMo, hey, good luck. <laughs> also, in the month of November, um, oh, it's the author publishing anniversary of my second book, um, Razor Brown Black Fist 2. This was published back in 2011, so it is now celebrating 12 years of being published. So, wow. So, it's, it's basically a, almost a preteen. <laughs> So it's, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm very proud of that particular project. Uh, it's been out there on the market. It's been published through Outskirts Press. So um, when you get a chance, please, um, please, please order it, buy a copy, read it, definitely write a review about it. You say spread it to your peoples, everything. So um, getting back to uh, part two of lyr lyrically speaking, uh, lyrical content, lyrical breakdown. So um, for those of you who missed the last episode, um, Back in the day, I actually kind of wanted to be known as a music artist, and so um, I wrote a number of different songs, and they actually span three of my books. Um, as you can see, the book covers right here. So it's um, Razor Brown Black Fist Two, um, in my lifetime, and also in my poetry book, um, Spitting Lyrics and Waxing Poetic. So a number of my songs are all up in there. So it's a total of thirteen um, songs. Continuing on with that, uh, I do remember. Uh, last episode, I was talking to you about one particular song called um, SPIC, or Spanish People in Control. It was an acronym, S-P-I-C. I do believe I only did uh, one version of the song. I remember I said that there were two. I think I had only performed one for you guys. And so um, I also wanted to show what I was doing lyrically in that particular song, because um, that one uh, the second version of Spanish People in Control is actually supposed to be what I would be called a collab. So it was supposed to be me and several other artists. So, um, okay, here it goes. Well, it don't matter. Well, you can see kind of or whatever. We just got to cease to warn and we got to stick together, son. Watch our backs. We got to watch out for these races because you know they're all around us wearing too many faces. They hate this. They see us all around and get scared. And they're always talking shit when dirty laundry gets there. They say we're all the same and then they say that it's just and then they show the true faces and tr try to feed out some bullshit. Won't take this anymore. You want to act movie mouse? Come get in my face. I kick your ass with my spot. SBIC, the Spanish people in control. My main goal, this ain't how I live in. This is how my squad rolls. Raiding our countries, looting the land just like a felon. But when it's big with own language, you want to do Prop 187? Listen here. That disrespectful bullshit ain't how we go. Atlanta punk ass honky, this my people on the radio. I show no respect for any person that had died. And then I would be wrong to beat the shot, you hot. The times for tongues is reminiscent and dismisses some. It's time to get punks like Howard Stern and ass whipping. Selena! The aboriginals suffered massive genocide. Now we suffer terrible tales of our lives that are falsified. Unbelievable myths of our nature and nationwide, and some are proven the true by being out there on the homicide. You have some out there full of miseducation and commit assassinations just to gain a reputation. You see, the picture is much broader than the brush, and yes, you do have some ills, but you commit to judgments, judgments that rush. I'm kicking knowledge. I'm kicking knowledge just so all you would know, son, that this is how we roll with Spanish people in control. So, um. That was the second version of Spanish People in Control. Um, I do apologize for any stumbling that I do in any of these songs. It has been years <laughs> since I've actually prom um, performed them. It was, um, it, I was trying to work on something lyrically as far as like my storytelling ability. And so um, one of the songs for me was a song that I did. It's in, um, in my lifetime. It's called Show and Skills. Uh, that particular song was just basically, that was supposed to be another collabo. 
Uh, so it's was supposed to be me, a bunch of different other rappers, just like really spitting it and just like showing what we could do lyrically. And that song was actually inspired by Lynn Q's Let It Fall. Because one, she's just, she just an else lyricist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Number two, just like the beat for the song was just like, it was crazy. So it's just like, um, you're getting drowsy, I think you're sleeping. Kicking my rhymes in Spanish language, but I'm not a reeker. The seat I'm seeking is the title for the best. I stress. And I'm gonna reach my goals without no test. And now I tell it to the rest. You garbage, you corny, you kick the same rhymes every other nigga told me. You never original, you just a fucked up individual. You know money talks, you're just an industry's residual. Cause you're factory made, capital paid, your rhymes charade, bitch nigga. And it's the music and the culture you betray. The rhymeness, the gruffness, you're doing it for the ducats. And as long as it pans out, you wanna get mad buckets. Uh, lyrically loose, I guess, rolling like a fan bait. I'm shining more than a cascade. I'm Fire than that group Jake. I got my rhymes, but I'm not a freestyle fanatic. But I'm bound to get you hooked like drugs to an addict. I see his whackness like a shaman sees dreams. My name is K S short for knowledge and supreme. I kick intelligence y muy sabor como mi gente. If you don't like that, then no pendejo bente. I'm representing for the president. I'm setting the props. I'm getting into the rhymes that I'm wrecking. I get you preaching like a priest about the book. My rhymes are screaming so say it gets flowing like a brook. Flow so delicious, my following is religious. And other rabbits so fictitious that it makes me suspicious. It's so ridiculous. The state of hip hop today, MCs have nothing to say, and creativity has gone away. So let it follow those who want to feel my not factor. Ayo, hey, can I get down and blow the spot like a reactor? Best in Houdini, cool. it all comes down to the money. These real suckers are funny. It all comes down to being scummy. <laughs> and then the chorus is like, we showing skills on them. 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 Wrecking all of them. Wrecking all of them. <laughs> so that was showing skills. <laughs> showing my <laughs> storytelling skill set. And uh, it's a particular song. There's actually in spitting with lyrics and wax and poetic. It's called Laws Under the God. And so with that particular track, um, it was heavily inspired by um Cool G Rap, some Ill Street Blues, because it's just, the beat is sick. <laughs> and then his flow over the track is just like it's it's I, you know say it's to me it's phenomenal. Like I like it. Like that was a really, really dope song to me, just like his storytelling capacity and whatnot, and just like the beat that he used. It was just jazzy with piano and you know what I'm saying, like a little bit of a trumpet. <laughs> like that was hot so for me um that's what inspired me to do laws under the gun mm. Mm. my little homie in the hood he's having his problems he's not a rough next to fight he needs a way to solve him. he's always getting his ass kicked by the local dealer my shorty wants no beef he's just a kid living in fear then he went one day that he don't play that. The, the dealer cold fucked him up and ended it with a pimp slap he's fucking him up every day and he always had a set one day he beat my shorty's girl and then he had his boy wetter. My shorty went crazy and you know he lost his mind. He left with some large bills and then he came out with a knock. <sighs> my shorty left one night, caught him on the deal, capped his ass 20 times and then he took his deal. Now my shorty's changed because his ass is always cap packing. You never get him heated because he always starts capping. My shorty runs around now living like a gangster, but fuck all the drugs, he'll just cap your hill gang. But shorty ain't the only one victim of the city. The hood life mentality, it hits you and you don't. Now you need power if you want to squash beef. And have to spell G when if you want relief. You got problems from the dealers? You got problems from the dealers? You got problems from the crews? Get your hands on the steel and got nothing to lose. Yo, it's only the beginning. You know we ain't done. It's part of hood life, son. <clears throat> Laws under the gun. So that's the, uh, the first verse of Laws under the gun. Um, it's only two verses long, really. Um, um, and I guess with this one, I'll probably end with uh, one of my other um, songs that's also in, in my lifetime. Um, as I said in the last video, uh, <laughs> um, there are some stuff that's out there that's dedicated to women. Uh, you know, saying not everything is all like hardcore. Everything's not all like super militant or what. There's this uh, track that I had written. It's called Lady Lovin'. Um, it was actually inspired by, um, uh, Teddy Riley beat. Actually, it was the remix version of Guys Dog Me Out. That's what got me to, um, kind of write the song. Cause the beat that he did for the remix was just, it, it was, it was fire. <laughs> it was hot. So, um, love you, love. 
Don't you love me? What you doing to me? You're my baby. <clears throat> mm. Say, honey, zip. Hello, hi, how you doing? It's the fuck here during the KS is introduced. I turn around and then you call my eyes. So cute and so pretty. I had to go for mine. I ain't down to kick no lines though. When I kick it to a girl, I gotta kick with my heart notes. I ain't playing in down for no games. I'm not looking for a hoe. I ain't out to make a name. I'm more serious because I want a mate. I'm looking for a Rooney, not a one night date. I'm down for loving, not a one night stand. Wanted to be a max sweating myself like I'm the man. A man of words is a romantic action. I want some all-night love and not some instant satisfaction. I treat you right and I'll take you while I'll tell you all of my meals that you know what I'm about. Tell me now, I want to know something. Do you want to be down with lady loving? <laughs> and then verse two is gentle or sweet or tough like a thoroughbred. You want to hook up? No, you're enough set. I won't push. I'll wait till you're ready. So when I make love, it's nice, slow, and steady. I tell you things that are straight from but my heart. Love letters and poems, I'll make them a form of art. Go for walks out in the moonlight or take her to a club so we can party all night. I'll be yours if you'll be for me. You want to know my full potential? You want to know my full potential? Have to wait and see. Ain't down to cheat or to play. I'm down to treat you right every night and every day. From a man not from hitting or love. From a man not from hitting or running. Principal fact on a lady loving. <laughs> so uh, I hope that you enjoyed a couple of these joints that I recited. Uh, I do apologize for stumbling through them. <laughs> As I had said, it's been a number of decades, not even years, a number of decades since I performed any of these songs. Um, they are in, um, published in at least throughout three of my books. So if you, um, so thank you pretty much for watching this latest episode of Rough Draft. Um, if you like a copy of any of my books, they are available in paperback format. You know where you need to go to get them. Off the House, Outskirts Press, Create Space, um, Amazon.com. Barnes and Nobles and Books a Million. I believe my books are also available on um, bookshop.org. Uh, my books are also available in ebook format, so you know where you need to go to get those. Um, they are available through Kindle, Nook, Kobo, Apple Books, uh, Scribd, which is actually changing its name now <laughs> to Everend, uh, Smash Words, um, and it's also available internationally through uh, Biblio, Tolino, and Gardner's. Um, my books are also available in ebook format for libraries. So if you want to go to the library to get copies of my books, uh, you need to go to um, Overdrive, Hoopla, Baker and Taylor, Biblioteca, um, Odillo, Palace Marketplace, and Borrowbox internationally for England and, and um, for the UK and Australia. <laughs> Um, if you are watching this video on YouTube or Vimeo, uh, you know what you need to do. Please like the video. Definitely leave a comment. Let, let me know what you think. Uh, definitely press the subscribe button and press the notification button so you can know whenever I, you know, saying do something either in the community section or when I drop the latest video. Um, thank you for watching this video. Like you saying, thank you for hanging with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this. You know how I like to end my videos. Keep the fist raised. I'm always on my literary grind, and I'll talk to you people soon. Thank you so much for your patronage. Hit you up soon. Peace.